Happy New Year, Nexcom team. So 2018 is now in the books, another year where we supported our nation's service members who protect the homeland while preserving America's strategic influence around the world. And for our Navy, 2018 was a year to emphasize and build a more lethal force by strengthening alliances and attracting new partners, as well as reforming for greater performance, all to remain the most effective global maneuver force in the world. And as I reflect back on the year for our nation, our Navy, and NEXCOM, and when I look at the goals we set for ourselves in my 2018 CEO guidance, I'm so impressed with how much our command accomplished throughout the year. One focus area that I've seen our team successfully achieve time and again was to maximize sailor personal readiness and strengthen our Navy family connections. So, as our sailors continued to perform at top speed, our NEXCOM team served right beside them, no matter where the mission took them. For example, to support our sailors deployed in the 5th and 6th Fleet area of operations, our ship store and distribution teams worked together to leverage the logistics and procurement of NEX retail arms in Japan, Guam, and Bahrain to provide all the top selling items on the ship store stock list and we're providing the capabilities at a significant reduction in costs since taking this over from DLA's warehousing process. This initiative alone has saved the Navy over $2 million, and fleet feedback has remained very positive. Also this year, to ensure sailor readiness, we succeeded in fielding a new and improved optional physical training uniform with the Navy's logo forged by the sea. Additionally, we heard loud and clear from our female sailors, and with the hard work of NCTRF, we officially rolled out newly designed, better fitting female slacks and skirts. And on top of that, the NEX is now providing our sailors with a more comfortable boot, the iBoot 4, all while NCTRF develops another boot with the same comfort, but one that can be worn in aviation environments. NEXCOM continues to strengthen our partnerships with installation leaders and other Navy commands to improve base community support as well as collaborative efforts with MWR and other resale partners to reduce costs and increase effectiveness. Throughout 2018, our team excelled in these important areas. Like our NEXCARES events, a successful cooperative effort with the Marines, AFES, and DECA where all our military children created a personalized, one-of-a-kind care package for their deployed parent. Children received a $20 NEXT gift card and a $10 DECA gift card to help shop for their deployed parent's favorite treats and essentials to include inside the care package. Another favorite of mine this year was the holiday parade and tree lighting at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where we teamed up with our MWR partners to provide our patrons with a little holiday magic by hosting a variety of events and celebrity guest appearances. A new initiative in 2018 was Back to the Base, a collaboration with the Commissary and MWR to drive footsteps back to the base for services, entertainment, and more. The campaign helped leverage resale partnerships to benefit our military families. Further efforts to better the lives of our sailors included a contract renewal that TPO finalized with AT&T to continue shipboard morale calling afloat. TPO also increased the bandwidth for our sailors stationed at bases overseas and provided more than 30,000 prepaid calling cards to forward to deployed units during this holiday season. And when our nation was struck by Hurricane Michael, NEXCOM served a vital role deploying our mobile resale facility vehicle to Panama City to help with the needs of the mission essential personnel on site, helping in the cleanup effort, while our TPO team established Wi-Fi hotspots so our sailors and DOD personnel could contact their loved ones, and at the same time, Navy Lodge Pensacola supported military members from NSA Panama City by ensuring rooms were available for anyone who was displaced because of the storm. Now, this isn't the first time NEXCOM has assisted in the aftermath of a storm. And in fact, this year our command was awarded the Navy Meritorious Unit Commendation by the CNO for efforts by our associates following Hurricane Irma in Key West. Strengthening our connection also means connecting with Navy initiatives like living a healthier lifestyle. Through our A Better You program, we offer sailors healthy food options at our 54 Fresh Mart and 32 Micro Market locations. 
Combined sales topped $6 million last year. We also hit a few milestones with our micromarket program. We opened the first Oconus location in Bahrain and worked in cooperation with NGIS to open locations in their facilities in California and Rhode Island. On top of that, our operations team successfully assumed responsibility from DODIA to execute Guam's student meal program. In my 2018 guidance, I also challenged our NEXTCOM team to continually improve and streamline processes. And I have to say, all of you really took this one to heart. For example, our floor loading initiative was a pilot program that started in early 2018 at NEX Norfolk with immediate results. By loading our trucks from floor to ceiling with boxes and eliminating pallets, we were able to reduce the number of trucks going to the store. This saves money and allows the store to move product to the sales floor much faster with fewer labor hours. Throughout the course of the year, Bethesda, San Diego, and Whidbey Island also implemented this program, resulting in a 200% increase in truck capacity, along with most locations averaging a 50% increase in processing efficiency from pallet-loaded trucks. It's estimated that the savings from this initiative will be approximately $1.5 million in transportation alone, and further multi-million dollars in savings for years to come. We also stood up our new direct-to-customer e-commerce fulfillment within our Southeast Distribution Center in Pensacola and successfully opened Saddle Creek Fulfillment Center, our new e-commerce facility located in Kentucky. Along with Pensacola, within our Northeast Distribution Center, we established fashion processing capabilities which will reduce transportation expenses, improve margin, and move product through the supply chain faster all in an effort to better serve our customers. Which brings me to another of our focus areas, to better serve our customers and create our very own advocates, both today and tomorrow. To create advocates, we must find innovative ways to interact with our patrons and provide them with quality of life goods, services, and tools. And this starts at the very early stages of a sailor's career. So in 2018, we launched an early arrivers program in Great Lakes and at A schools to create a long-term relationship between Nexcom and each individual sailor. Also, one new innovative project we launched this year was a body scanner at NEX Newport and NEX Norfolk's uniform stores. This scanner allows a service member to receive their exact body measurements to determine their correct uniform size. This new tool proved to be incredibly helpful for our OCS candidates and during the 2018 CPO season, when new chiefs were being fitted for their first set of iconic khakis. It streamlines the uniform fittings and relieves any undue tailoring when purchasing a uniform either in store or online. And speaking of online, MyNavyExchange.com continues to go through upgrades to include uniform integration and drop ship capabilities. These capabilities contribute to our overall marketing strategy, which is to provide our customers with a multifaceted, omni-channel experience. Whether brick and mortar, email, text messaging, social media, we strive to connect with our customers on a personal level. To that end, our mobile coupon program has been a huge success since it launched in July. To date, we have over 104,000 subscribers. One particular coupon incentive generated over 100,000 transactions. At the same time, we continue to refine our email personalization strategy by incorporating user behavior and actions into our segmentation process. This allows us to deliver the right message to the right user based on their previous interactions with Next. Efforts to engage at the local level can be seen throughout our use of social media. The Nex and Navy Lodge utilize Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter to interact with customers and guests to provide premier customer service. Social media remains a powerful tool to communicate the Nexcom mission and the critical support we provide to our military and their families, even to folks who don't know who we are or what we do. And who we are speaks volumes. We are a Navy command, a team that serves those who protect our nation our liberties, and our freedoms. Our motto, Mission U, is so much more than just a tagline. 
It instills within us a purpose to take care of our military and their loved ones, and also to take care of each other, which is a focus area that will always remain a top priority of mine. As a team, NEXTCOM must always take care of our associates both today and tomorrow to maintain a safe work environment based on trust, inclusion, and respect as measured by our Associate Satisfaction Index. And man, did you blow those goals out of the water. You all also performed at a top level during the hurricane tabletop exercise, and we had a very successful implementation of the emergency notification system here at headquarters and with the launch of our 401k website. It's important to me that all associates continue to develop skill sets and increase capabilities. And throughout the year, we built on our enterprise-wide leadership courses and training to assist with that. Our people will always be our most prized commodity. And I was so lucky to visit with so many of you from around the world this year in locations like Bahrain, Pensacola, and San Diego. I am incredibly proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with each and every one of you. And I'm humbled by your resounding service attitude and compassion for others. Thank you to everyone for a great 2018. And I'm looking forward to a 2019 that's full of challenges, but also successes. The mission is you, so keep charging.